So, it's down to you and it's down to me. Perhaps an arrangement can be made. There will be no arrangement. What if there can be no arrangement? Then we are at an impasse. I'm afraid so. I can't compete with you physically, and you're no match for my brains. You're that smart. Let me put it this way. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes. Morons. Really? In that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. To the death? I accept. Good, then pour the wine. Inhale this, but do not touch. I smell nothing. What you do not smell is called Iocane powder. It's tasteless, odorless, dissolves instantly in liquid, and is among the more deadly poisons known to man. Hmm. All right. Where's the poison? The battle of which has begun. It ends when you decide, and we both drink, and find out who is right and who is dead. But it's so simple. I must only divine from what I know of you already. Are you the type of man to put the poison into his own goblet? Or in his enemies? Now the clever man would put the poison into his own goblet, knowing that only a great fool would reach for that which was given him. And I am no great fool. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But. You would have known that I was not a great fool. You would have counted on it. And therefore, I cannot choose the wine in front of me. You have made your decision then. Oh, not remotely. You see, Iocane powder comes from Australia, as everyone knows. And Australia is peopled entirely with criminals. And they are used to not being trusted. As you are not trusted by me. And so clearly, I cannot choose the wine in front of you. Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Mm. Wait till I get started. Now, where was I? Australia. Australia, yes. And you must have guessed that I would have known the powder's origin. So I clearly cannot choose the wine in front of me. You're just stalling now. Mm. Oh, you'd like to think so, wouldn't you? You've beaten my giant in combat, which means you're exceptionally strong. And so you could have put the poison into your own goblet, trusting on your strength to save you. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But then again, you've also bested my Spaniard, which means you must have studied. And in studying, you would have learned that man is mortal. And if you knew that, you would have put the poison as far away from yourself as possible. And therefore, I clearly cannot choose the wine in front of me. You're trying to trick me into giving something away. It won't work. <laughs> it has worked. You've given away everything. I know where the poison is. Then make a choice. I will. And I choose. Oh, oh, what in the world could that be? Oh, where? Oh. oh, well, I, I could have sworn that I saw something. No matter. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I'll tell you in a minute. But first, let's drink. Me from my glass, you from your glass. <laughs> you chose wrong. You only think that I've guessed wrong. <laughs> you see, that's what's so funny. You fell victim to one of the most classic blunders. 
the most famous of which never get involved with Asia in a land war, second only to this. Never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line! <laughs> Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh